Right, so I do a follow up for the Bixler. <coughs> I'll do it first, <coughs> I think, before I go out today. Because it's a bit naughty. Winds are gusting a bit. Anyway. <coughs> Just where the receivers are, so I can push the battery further back if I need to. And then down this end, I cut the form just under the nose. There's like three verticals and an horizontal. I cut two of the verticals out and the horizontal to match. So the battery will push up to there. <coughs> at front, so then you wait at the front. I took the plastic canopy cover there and put it over the cyclops there so the wind doesn't trap under that and rock that about. The server goes there. Oh, what you'll have to do if you, if you wish is this is normally arched over and it goes with that, just cut into that cut along the top there so you get a nice flat surface and I just put some furry hook and loop on there so I can stick things to that <coughs> the GPS is down here behind the propeller excuse me <coughs> zippy compact 500 <coughs> goes in the nose. I'll cut out some ply and put it on there just to make that a bit stiffer. And then one battery goes on there. That power lead there goes straight up to the storm there. That powers from that. That goes to a power tree, that goes through the balance lead, and that powers the FPV camera. <coughs> now originally I did have a wire running through there, through the spine, up there to the power tree. But this is greedy. And I noticed this when I put these thicker aerials on. When I put it in certain revs, over certain revs, I'd start to lose picture. <coughs> Now I used to think that was a storm, but it's not, it's this. So anyway, so I can get a bigger battery in. Zippy, 500, goes there. Zippy 500 there, Zippy 500 on the tail, and Zippy 5000 in, playing itself. <coughs> Just turn this over. Now that was for a camera, but I've since changed my mind about that. <coughs> no. The ones are glued in with Gorilla Glue, so they're not coming out. It's got the carbon spar originally in there, which is alright if you're just floating about, but it's no good if you're going against the wind or putting a bit of speed on. So I put an extra carbon rod through there, and that says it more. Put them tubes out because I don't screw the wings down, they're permanent. And then I put an extra carbon spar in the back because that is really flimsy without it. <coughs> Just basic, basic mod upgrades. The <coughs> ESC is about here on the other side. Now, some people cut a section out. ESE burns and blows up, that's it. For the price of this frame, I'll just rip apart another one and get another one. The motor is a SK3. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. I'll look, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. <coughs> that's an Immersion RC 600 milliwatt video transmitter. Flaps, which you've got to get tuned in properly. 
Cyclops, a fast guy, aerial, I always do this, I don't know why, horizontal, vertical, <clears throat> 5B, 7B5 electric prop, master air screw, balanced, but I'd never sand a bit off. When you sand too much off, you can't put it back on, so I just put a bit of insulation tape on there and the glue there to get the hub sorted. That's basically it. <clears throat> I just thought I'd do this little video before we test it again today because like I say, it's a bit naughty today, is that wind? So it may not make it back in one piece. So I thought I'd do it first so it's not all in tiny bits. <clears throat> 